Well, good afternoon, everybody. A fairly good looking afternoon, a little cloud cover, but uh, enough sunshine to warm things up very nicely and give us a nice tranquil day. You know, we've had so many severe storms rolling through here. We need a little bit of quiet there for a little bit. Our uh, current temperature 79 degrees winds out of the east at uh, 11 miles an hour. So even the winds are not a big problem at this hour. Uh, as you can see, the crossroads is right here. And as I mentioned in the tease, we're uh, at the point of the year which, you know, everything kind of rotates annually, uh, where we get severe thunderstorms of fire out in deep west Texas triggered by the dry line. Now, what is the dry line? Well, if you can imagine all the humidity rolling this way, uh, and then, of course, hot, dry air in west Texas, it sort of meets up, and in that boundary, it sort of sets up a little bit of trough line here, and it occasionally fires these storms, okay? Now, it's not a, an efficient production. It's not like a cold front, but you will see these big thunderstorms fire in the mountains and along the dry line, and here's the trick. This is very hard in the weather department. They boil up, and you have thunderstorms, and then they weaken as the sun goes down. But if they boil up high enough and catch the uh, southeasterly wind, you can see how everything's flowing southeast. Then they start rolling in our direction and they uh, will uh, become their own little energy field there. So we have to watch them very carefully. So for today, uh, they're looking for possibility of severe weather between now and sundown out in far west Texas. Tomorrow, it gets a little bit more interesting because it gets much closer to our region. Now, here we are, and you can see that from North Texas down to Del Rio and Laredo, they have a possibility of some severe weather, and it fires in the afternoon because it needs the heat, it needs the humidity flowing east, and then it needs that dry line to sort of help lift it up and trigger it out. So it's not like something that you can watch for a couple of days moving in our direction. These would pop up and then roll eastward. And that's why pretty much all of us in Texas are included, even our area as well. And that's for your Thursday. But let's put it this way. It's pretty far. And if it were to develop, we would know and we would be here to tell you about it. So here's the way it looks on a surface map. The warm air obviously rolling back to our area. It feels very, you know, kind of early summer out there. Uh, and then the, the low begins to move. The frontal system begins to move. And we see the fire, the um, dry line out there. And watch how it, it, it sort of spits out right, right there. This is uh, Thursday, 8 p.m. Remember I told you it was late afternoon. It spits out these little bands of thunder showers that start out there and roll this way and we're in the direction so if anything fires i we need to watch it very carefully and this will go on uh, for the next few days and we'll see if uh, another line develops there on friday evening like i told you so it's shall we say so far so good all's good uh, but we're going to be watching, or that's where I'm going to be watching out west. Anything develops, we'll let you know. Tonight, we'll get down to only 70 degrees. You don't even need the warm pajamas anymore, you know. We're looking for increasing clouds, a little bit more humid, southeast winds at about 15 overnight. Tomorrow, we're going to be mostly cloudy. A 20% chance of a late afternoon shower. We'll track it if it happens. Otherwise, 86. And then we look at the extended outlook, and we're looking for temperatures to stay well into the upper 80s all through the week, all the way into Cinco de Mayo. All right, we'll toss it over to... Uh, first, you got to remember, we, we want you to scan the QR code and put Crossroads Today on your phone. That way we can let you know if any of that stuff out west develops. But now, the dynamic 